Our guest speaker tonight is Olga de Bergmoser Thompson, or if you prefer, Olga Thompson de Bergmoser, she told me. <laughs> She's a writer with an interest in the arts and artists. She's written four books altogether and working on her fifth, is that right, Olga? Yes. And um, two of the books, one of them uh, is called uh, Many Faces, Many Spaces. But um, before she started doing that, she first came to our, uh, recon our, our notice in Etobicoke by doing an article on one of our local artists for the Arts Etobicoke magazine. And that was an article she did on Marianne Ludlum. Now, as I said, she has a great interest in the arts and artists. And um, she's the co-author of Many Faces and Many Spaces. And she's currently writing a book, again, on artists. And this, I know, as soon as you hear what it's on, artists, of art and artists, you're going to be terribly excited because it's on local artists, artists of Etobicoke and Mississauga. So Olga, who I know is looking forward to speaking to us tonight. Olga? Milky Way. <laughs> <laughs> then a Petros offers bold acrylics on canvas, yet with a touch of innocence and vulnerability, especially in the painting The Second Chance. Suddenly you are caught up in the never ending dream by uh, uh, Tahira Haida, highly symbolic but so beautiful that actually you see your dreams being carried on the wings of those birds. Next, your mind is bombarded with the thought provoking volcanics one and two and specimen by Susan Dale. And while you are still in contemplation, your senses are overpowered by the dynamic movement on Nancy Cuttle's oil on canvas, it's hard to dance with the devil on your back. <laughs> but, and intrigued by her oil bar on paper, now your, the journey takes you to Barbara Fosca's impressive solitude and amazing floral moon glow, gouaches by an artist who is actually internationally acclaimed for watercolors. She is partly Chinese, her parents were missionaries in China, 